In the last video, we learned two properties of logarithms. Log base b of b equals 1 and log base b of 1 equals 0. Today we are going to learn two more properties of logarithms, which are called the inverse properties of logarithms. For b greater than 0 and b not equal to 1, the logarithm with base b of b raised to a power equals that power. So what is for example log base 4 of 4 to the 5th power? This is exactly 5 because the logarithm with base b of b raised to a power equals that power. What is log base 2 of 2 cubed? Again, when the base of the logarithm and the base of the argument are the same, then we get the exponent of the power as a solution, which is 3. The second inverse property of logarithms is that b raised to the logarithm with base b of a number equals that number. So when we have, for example, 5 raised to the power of log base 5 of 7, how can we solve this problem? We see that this is exactly the same as b raised to the power of log base b of x. So this equals 7. What is 2 raised to the power of log base 2 of 5? Again, we see that this is the same as b raised to the power of log base b of x. So this is going to be 5. What is log base 3 of 3 raised to the power of 7 and 7 raised to log base 7 of 3? Feel free to pause the video and try this on your own. This is going to be 7 and this is going to be 3. Very simple. In the last video, we evaluated some basic logarithms. Let's evaluate some logarithms with roots, which we didn't do in the last video. But before we start, I want you to do a quick exercise. How can we rewrite the square root of 2? The square root of 3? The fifth root of 2? and the fourth root of 3 as exponents. Feel free to pause the video and try this on your own. Recall that we can write roots as exponents with the following formula. a raised to the power of m over n equals the nth root of a raised to the power of m. So we can write the square root of 2 as 2 raised to the power of 1 half, the square root of 3 as 3 raised to the power of 1 half, the fifth root of 2 as 2 raised to the power of 1 fifth, and the fourth root of 3 as 3 raised to the power of 1 fourth. Now, what is log base 2 of the square root of 2? We are going to ask the same question as in the previous video when evaluating logarithms. 2 raised to what power equals the square root of 2? The square root of 2 equals 2 raised to the power of 1 half.
So log base 2 of the square root of 2 equals 1 half. What is log base 3 of the square root of 3? Again, 3 raised to what power equals the square root of 3? The square root of 3 equals 3 raised to the power of 1 half. So log base 3 of the square root of 3 equals 1 half. What is log base 2 of the fifth root of 2? Again, we ask the question 2 raised to what power equals the fifth root of 2? The fifth root of 2 equals 2 raised to the power of 1 fifth. So log base 2 of the fifth root of 2 equals 1 fifth. What is log base 3 of the fourth root of 3? 3 raised to what power equals the fourth root of 3? The fourth root of 3 equals 3 raised to the power of 1 fourth. So log base 3 of the fourth root of 3 equals 1 fourth. Note that this all works so easy because of the base of the logarithm and the radicand are the same. If you like my videos, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.